What's going on guys, it's your host T from Power 786 and I'm going to introduce to you the vacuum suction gauge. It tells you how much water lift a vacuum cleaner can produce. This thing has nothing to do with airflow at all. In fact, it doesn't show you how well a vacuum is going to be performance wise. There's a lot of factors to that. Agitation, airflow, the way the cleaner has designed. It's not just about suction. But what suction does do is it maintains airflow and airspeed through the carpet. And the more suction a vacuum has, through the carpet, the better the airflow is going to be. To be honest with you, it just shows you how powerful the motor is really. It's got no indicate on how good the vacuum is. It's just going to be a fun test to see how powerful the motors are. So it's got nothing to do with airflow, like I said. So what's the difference between suction and airflow? Suction has nothing to do with airflow. It's like when you drink out of a straw, there's no airflow involved, is there? It's just a pull really. It's got nothing to do with air. And airflow is how fast the air moves. So when you have a fan and the air is moving really fast, the air speed is what airflow is. And suction helps to maintain airflow. I'm gonna be trying this on the older Dysons that I haven't actually tried this on yet because I only just got this thing, you see. I've tried it on the DCR5 and that done really well. So it would be interesting to see how much suction the DCR1, 2, 3 and 4 have. So that's how I'm gonna test vacuum suction power and how I'm going to test airflow is how fast the vacuum can spin a Vax turbo brush. The more airflow there is, the more faster the brush will spin. And the faster the brush spins, the more powerful the airflow is. So that's how I'm going to be testing the airflow. Now, please be aware, a lot of vacuums do have suction release valves where when you block the end of the hose, you're not going to be receiving the full suction because the motor has to breathe as well. Not all vacuums have this feature, but some of them do. And I will try to block the air relief valve out when I can to see the difference with and without that activated. Right, let's start off with the DA001, which is basically an Amitech DC01. Ready? <laughs> So the DA001 or DCR1 with the Amitech motor pulled a shocking 40 inches of water lift, which is quite low for a vacuum. Now let's try a more powerful DCR1 with a YV motor. Wow, so that's got a 90 inches of water lift pretty much. So yeah, this is why I love the YV DCR1s. They're way more power than the Amitech DCR1s do. Right, now let's see how fast the YV DCR1 spins a Vax Turbo brush. 